DVT, or deep vein thrombosis, is a life-threatening condition requiring immediate medical intervention. DVT is caused by the clotting of blood inside veins, mostly in the legs. Clotting is a necessary bodily defense mechanism, but its purpose is to halt bleeding from wounds, not to block veins and arteries. DVT is particularly deadly since blood clots may break off and travel to the heart or lungs, creating a fatal pulmonary embolism. Many factors, including smoking, obesity, age, and restricted leg mobility, enhance your risk. It is essential to be aware of the symptoms of DVT and to get medical attention if you see any problems. In this video, we are going to show you the symptoms and who is at risk of DVT. What are the symptoms of DVT? Before we get into it, please remember to like and subscribe. Let's get going. Visible swelling. One of the most common symptoms of deep vein thrombosis is swelling. When there is a restriction in the circulation of blood, it may lead to excruciating swelling. Even while not all blood clots caused by DVT will expand to the point where they can be seen, you should nonetheless pay attention to any visible indications of swelling. If you feel a bump in your leg that is uncomfortable or sensitive, or if you detect swollen tissue, you should make an appointment with a doctor as soon as possible. Clots in the blood are a dangerous medical condition that must never be taken lightly. If you are experiencing pain or other symptoms in addition to your swelling, you should seek immediate medical attention. Fatigued legs. You can notice that some parts of your body are exhausted if they are not receiving an adequate amount of blood. The same is true with your deep vein thrombosis. Try to maintain a vertical position with your arm without supporting it with anything else. This will help illustrate the point. Your hand and forearm will have less blood flow, which will result in your arm feeling weaker and more exhausted. If you feel this in your leg, it's possible that you have deep vein thrombosis, which is caused by a blood clot. It is possible that you may see that your leg is becoming weaker and wearier as a result of the obstruction, which is causing the blood flow in your leg to become limited. It is possible to determine with an ultrasound whether the reason is DVT. Skin color change. There is a possibility that you may see a change in the color of your skin when blood starts to collect behind the clot. In addition to swelling, the region of the leg behind the clot may appear red. This occurs in conjunction with the clot itself. In the meantime, the regions that are receiving a decreased amount of blood supply may become white or even blue. If you suddenly notice a change in the color of your legs that cannot be explained, you should be on the lookout for other symptoms that might indicate deep vein thrombosis. If you have any reason to believe that the redness is being caused by a clot, you should seek medical attention as soon as possible. In most cases, the redness induced by DVT will be accompanied by discomfort and swelling. Nonetheless, any color changes should be examined by a medical professional. Warm feeling under your skin. Your skin has the ability to provide a lot of information about what's going on underneath it. People who have deep vein thrombosis may realize that there is a problem because their skin becomes red and gets warm to the touch. This is another symptom of the condition. This is due to the fact that when the blood starts to accumulate in the vein behind the clot, the temperature rises, which in turn causes the skin to become heated. This symptom is almost always present at the same time as a good number of other symptoms. When this occurs, it is critical to seek immediate medical help in order to have the blood clot evaluated before it has a chance to separate and cause more serious injuries. Visible or bulging veins. Veins that are visible or bulging out of the skin might be a sign of deep vein thrombosis. If there is a clot in the vein, blood will no longer be able to flow as freely, which may result in the vein being larger. It may be difficult to determine whether or not the vein itself is enlarged if the tissues in your leg are swollen as well. Having said that, there are some patients who report experiencing this on their own. If you have veins that are always visible, especially varicose veins, this may be a sign that you are at a greater risk of having deep vein thrombosis. Leg pain. One of the most prevalent symptoms of a blood clot that is causing deep vein thrombosis is a pain in the affected area. For example, passengers on a lengthy journey may have throbbing pain in their leg later that day. This discomfort may have been brought on by the travel itself. 
This form of discomfort is brought on by swelling in the vein, which is brought on when blood is unable to flow freely through the vein, owing to the obstruction. This is a symptom that a clot has developed, and emergency medical treatment should be sought out for the situation. Do not make the mistake of ignoring leg discomfort since doing so might prove to be devastating in the event that the clot breaks off and goes to your heart. Chest Pain Patients who are suffering from a pulmonary embolism almost always complain of excruciating chest discomfort. This is another indication that the blood clot has made its way from your heart to your lungs through your circulation. Embolization of the pulmonary artery may lead to a number of problems, including heart failure. This potentially life-threatening illness may be shown by chest discomfort, which is frequently followed by shortness of breath and other indications of distress involving the circulatory system and the respiratory system. It goes without saying that you should go to the emergency room if you are experiencing severe or inexplicable chest discomfort at any moment. Personal treatment for a pulmonary embolism is not possible under any circumstances. Experiencing difficulty breathing. If you find that you have trouble breathing, you should take this symptom extremely seriously at all times. This has the potential to be a symptom of deep vein thrombosis, and if it is, you need to go to the hospital as soon as possible, either by calling an ambulance or by having someone take you there. If you find yourself gasping for air often, it's possible that a piece of the blood clot has broken off and moved to your lungs or heart. If you are experiencing this symptom, you should get medical attention as soon as possible, particularly if this is occurring in conjunction with any of the other indicators that we have spoken about already. Pulmonary embolisms may be deadly if they are not treated right away. Dizziness or confusion. Dizziness and disorientation are two of the key signs that a patient is suffering from deep vein thrombosis. In the beginning, when blood flow is limited and oxygen levels in the brain drop, you could experience this phenomenon. It is also possible for the blood clot to break off and create a pulmonary embolism, which would result in the same symptoms. In this scenario, you will need to get care as soon as possible in order to avoid suffering irreparable harm or death. Confusion Feeling faint or lightheaded, extreme tiredness, and dizziness are classic symptoms of a DVT that has developed into a pulmonary embolism. If you encounter this in conjunction with any other symptoms, you may have a disease that might be life-threatening, and you should make an appointment with your doctor as soon as possible. This symptom might sound weird, but it is one of the most important. Nothing. In spite of the fact that there are a variety of symptoms connected with DVT, the majority of individuals do not show any obvious signs of having the condition. It is essential that you are aware of the degree of danger you are exposed to and that you pay careful attention to any signs that anything may be wrong. DVT risk is significantly increased in older people who smoke cigarettes and have excess body fat. Additionally, anybody who has been on a lengthy trip or has otherwise spent prolonged amounts of time sitting still without moving about or extending their muscles may also be at an elevated risk. Who is at risk for developing deep vein thrombosis? There are several factors that might contribute to an increased risk of getting deep vein thrombosis. The more risk factors you have, the higher your chance of developing a deep vein thrombosis. The following are some of the risk factors for DVT. Age. The chance of developing a DVT rises with age after 60. However, DVT may develop in people of any age. Long periods of immobility. The calf muscles do not contract when the legs are immobile for a prolonged period of time because this causes them to atrophy. Contractions of muscles contribute to an increase in blood flow. Increasing the risk of deep vein thrombosis includes sitting for extended periods of time such as while driving or flying. Inactivity over an extended period of time, such as that necessitated by extended hospital stay or a physical condition such as paralysis, also qualifies. Pregnancy. The blood pressure in the veins of the pelvis and legs may become much higher during pregnancy. The increased likelihood of developing blood clots during pregnancy might linger for up to six weeks after a baby has been delivered birth control medication. 
both hormone replacement treatment and birth control pills have been shown to have an effect on the blood's propensity to clot. Smoking and obesity. Being overweight raises the risk of developing high blood pressure in the veins of the legs and pelvis. The way that blood moves and clots is altered by smoking, which may lead to an increased risk of DVT. Cancer. Cancer malignancies may raise the levels of chemicals in the blood that can lead to the formation of blood clots. Certain cancer treatments may potentially raise the likelihood of developing blood clots in the patient. Heart disease. Heart failure is associated with an increased risk of both deep vein thrombosis and pulmonary embolism. When a person has heart failure, their heart and lungs do not function as effectively as they should which makes it easier for them to recognize the signs of pulmonary embolisms, even if they are very mild. Genetic factors. You may be at a higher risk of having deep vein thrombosis if you or a member of your family has ever been diagnosed with one of these illnesses. There are certain individuals who have alterations in their DNA that make it easier for their blood to clot. One such case is the factor V. Leyden. This genetic condition causes a change in one of the factors that keep the blood from clotting. If the hereditary condition is not paired with other risk factors, it is possible that it will not lead to blood clots on its own. DVT is a dangerous condition that has the potential to be fatal. Many individuals with DVT may not show symptoms, making diagnosis challenging. If you have symptoms, you may be at a higher risk for life-threatening consequences. Therefore, it is essential to be aware of the risk factors and to discuss any symptoms with your doctor. They may recommend medicine or other treatments to help you manage DVT, but there are several self-care measures you can take. Moving around often, using compression stockings, and consuming a well-balanced diet are essential measures for reducing DVT risk. Get yourself checked today. Please watch these videos for more. Please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.